sitting here just uh, getting my mind right tweeting away which is just on my heart and um, I gotta get Danielle in a few minutes so I'll make this short and sweet um, something that I was about to tweet and it was like this long tweet and I was like you know what I just need to do a video on this um, you know I know I have big boobs I wrestle in bikinis vampire <laughs> um i've been posting sexy content for years uh, i love cannabis i love wine so i understand why people are very confused sometimes about how i feel with my spiritual life my um i guess moral compass and i totally get that i i totally 1000 percent get that but what's so funny to me is that I feel these people when they try to come at me and they just want to get like a rise out of me or whatever. Maybe when I was younger, but like now I'm just like, dude, I pray for you and I literally will pray for them and then I'll move on. Now if they continue, sometimes I'll be a little bit of a smart ass just because I think it's funny and I'm a smart ass. So there you have it. But other than that, it's like, it doesn't get a rise out of me. And there's been times like, people would get a rise out of me, you know? And um, I don't know, you know, I've just learned so much through life, through disappointments, through bad times, through times of mourning, like I am right now. Today, Fred's ashes came. They're still in the shipping box because I felt it was not only was I not ready, but I feel like it's only right to have Danielle with me when we open it. So I'm gonna go grab her in a little while. I think I'm gonna make an espresso shot real quick and um, go get her it's Taco Tuesday. Happy Taco Tuesday. Um, yeah, it's been rough. It's been really rough, but I'm so grateful for what Fred's passing, you know what, let me get my tripod. There, that's better. I don't have to be holding my phone up. But, um, you know, Fred's passing has just taught me so much and continues to, and I'm just very overwhelmed by um, the positives that, and the healing that his passing has brought. And I just still can't believe I talk about Fred Murph like this. I just can't. It doesn't seem right, but. But like, what did I expect him to live forever? Like, you know, he was so old. Like, I'm so lucky. I'm so grateful. I'm so blessed to have him for so long, even Ethel. But like, it just doesn't feel right or real, but oh, okay, I gotta drive, so I gotta get myself together. Anyways, I had to put up a YouTube together video today. Um, so yeah, I guess from this point on, I'm gonna put this on my daily, but I'll still add it so you guys see it. So today I woke up at six. I've been waking up between like 5.30 and 6.30. To me, 6.30 sleeping in, so sleeping to six was all right. I have been having a really rough time sleeping um, with Fred, not being here, not just because he's not literally there anymore, but uh, for those people who've watched my content for a while now, you know that what I call my El Guapo, because the movie Three's, Three Amigos, um, there's a speech that Steve Martin says to the people of Santa Poco and he says, you know, because they're all afraid of this villain, El Guapo, and he said, you know, some people's El Guapo is shyness, you know? So my El Guapo is death, and Fred, you know? So it's like, got me effed up in so many different dimensions, but it's okay because I've been here before and 
I just know that I need to pay attention. I need to be in tune and not be distracted with nonsense so that I can fulfill my purpose, you know? Anyways, all right, I'm gonna get myself together. I gotta get Danielle and then I gotta shoot a bunch of stuff. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Adios.